Hello, in this video I will show you the second method of a solution for the linear equation. This is the matrix inversion method. First, uh, in the previous video I, I have shown uh, the Kramer's rule. Now I will show you how to solve the, these equations using matrix inversion method. Matrix inversion method. On this, in this method we will use a matrix principle. So in this method, the first is uh, see the three equation. There are there is a one x plus b one y plus c one z is equal to d one, a two x plus b two y plus c two z is equal to d two, a three x plus b three y plus c three z is equal to d three. Now you need to solve this equation and you you are required to find out the values of x, y, and z. So the first step is to in the matrix inversion method, the first step is to make the three matrix A. The first matrix A is the matrix of the coefficient for the variables means A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 and A3, B3 and C3. This is the coefficient of the variable coefficient for the variables and this is the matrix A and D is the matrix for D1, D2, D3 now the third matrix is the matrix of the variables x x, y and z now you know this equation this equation can be represented as ax is equal to d this means x is equal to this formula you have to remember to calculate the values of variables you need to multiply a inverse to the d matrix and then you will easily find out the values of x y and z so to solve the values of x you require so first of all you need to find out the values of a inverse and multiply it with d you will get the values of coefficient x y z that's a simple process so here I will give you the example to how to solve the x, y and z. So here is the example. Suppose uh, I have three equation x plus 3y plus 3z is equal to 1, x plus 4y plus 3z is equal to 4 and 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 7. You have to solve this equation and you require to find out the values of x, y and z. So uh, what is the first step? You require three matrix. You first form the three matrix a is the matrix of the coefficient of the variables means 1 3 3 1 3 3 and 1 4 3 1 4 3 and 2 3 4 so 2 3 4 so the first matrix is this d is the uh, uh, matrix of the coefficient of the means constant of the right side 1 4 7 1 4 7 and x is the variables uh, matrix of the variables so x y z so so you know very well x is equal to 8 inverse into d so you require here find out the values of a inverse where a is the a is this matrix so how we, you will get this so a inverse you know very well 1 by delta and 1 by delta into adjoint of a so this is the formula you already know so you first require to need the values of delta delta means determinant of a means a this will comes as 1 into it will comes as a 7 plus 6 minus 15 is equal to minus 2 first get the values of delta how you will get the de determinant of this so you will get 1 into 1 into 6 minus 9 minus 3 into 4 minus 6 and plus 3 into 3 minus 8 plus 3 into 3 minus 8 so 7 plus 6 minus 15 is equal to minus o. so so delta is equal to minus 2 now you require adjoint of a adjoint of a means what is the meaning of this adjoint of a first of all you uh, find out what is adjoint of a 
this will be comes as adjoint of a is 7 2 minus 5 minus 3 minus 2 3 minus 3 0 1 and and transpose of it transpose of it so adjoint of a will come as 7 minus 3 minus 3 2 minus 2 0 minus 5 3 1 so what I did here is make the first row to the first column means first row is 7 2 minus 5 and it will look in the first column 7 2 minus 5 second row is minus 3 minus 2 pl uh, plus 3 minus 3 minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 0 1 this is the third row becomes third column minus 3 0 1 and uh, this is what is this <coughs> this is the cofactors of matrix A 7 is the cofactor for 1 2 is the cofactor for 3 minus 5 is the cofactor for 3 similarly so you will get this so you will get the adjoint A is this and delta is equal to minus 2 so you will get x is equal to how much t this means delta is a minus 2 so into 7 minus 3 minus 3 2 minus 2 0 and minus 5 3 1 and multiplication of matrix multiple of 1 4 7 d is this so it is equal to minus half of when you uh, i have already explained you have to multiply the two matrix here you need to multiply this matrix with this matrix so how you will multiply it this make it vertical and multiply each element so it will become 7 minus 12 plus minus 21 2 minus 8 plus 0 and minus 5 plus 12 plus 7 so this is equal to it will be equal to minus 1 by 2 minus 26 minus 6 14 so this is equal to 13 3 minus 7 so this is the values of x is equal to x y z is equal to this so because the two matrix are equal only when all elements are equal so x is equal to 13 y is equal to 3 and z is equal to minus 7 this is the solution of the equation so what you require here is the recap make the three matrix a d and x find out the values of x is equal to a inverse into d so a inverse is 1 by delta into adjoint of a adjoint of a is the transpose of cofactors of a so here this these are the cofactors and transpose it so you will get the this value and delta you will calculate delta is determinant values of a so it will come as minus 2 so a inverse is 1 by delta into adjoint of a so 1 minus 1 by 2 into adjoint and multiple of d this matrix 1 for 7 and multiply these two matrix and you will get these values so it will be equal to x so x y and j method is known as matrix inversion method